Greetings. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having a great time here in this uh, area in the Boga Silo plant and get you a grinder. And it'll take about four to five loads of that grass collector. This one right here. It's called D. So, what you want to do is you want to put your loads in here and you just want to go back and forth. See where it says compacted to 100%. Now when you want a dunny, just finish it blanket silo, silo. Now that'll take a while to ferment, as you can tell right there. So just back your tractor out of the way. Now if you want to, you can sell that stuff. For now. You can just sell that. You can sell that. You can sell your... I wouldn't sell the tractor per se. I would just leave it there for now. Now there's one more coin. Remember we had nine coins in the last one? There's a coin right up here on top. So, I'll show you this. See, there's 10. You have found 10. Now, see them showing up on the map? See, you can use the map to find them all now. And once you find them all, you want to save this uh, 1 over by 40. You see the 1 to the left of 40. There's 1 up. Go find all your gold coins while you're planning and all that. And, uh, yeah. That'll, that'll fill your silos and everything to the brim. Now, what we're doing, we're waiting for this to finish up. So you can take your tractor here. Now you're going to scoop it up the silage and you're going to put it in them containers over there. And you're going to see that it's a lot of money. So you can drive right here. See, you can see that it's almost done. It's almost half done. So let's go ahead and see what we got going on over here. Alright. Yeah, so see, he's already planting. And while he's doing that, you can just drop your let me drop your desk off. Go down and grab your... See, you can be doing other things while, while uh, he's doing that, so... The better trackers, too, are the little cheap old-timers. So, if you buy the DLC, buy these right here, these old trackers. This old tractor right here is probably the toughest one of the game, in the game right here and it's cheap too and it's got plenty of power more powerful than that green one that green one there so like I say just keep your men planning keep your men working as you're doing things like silage and uh, you can just hire a worker just let him go and you can go back to your man and see it ain't quite done yet it'll turn dark when it's done so we'll just sit here and watch as it so you can get your tractor figure out it up and down hold L1 and R2 then to lower the bucket you left and right right lowers it you can just take it like this and just wait now right now silage is, see wood chips is decent but I ain't got no loader to unload them see three thousand dollars the best is silage now you can sell this silage when it's done and you'll just sit there and Leave it like, right about like that. Yeah. Now, if silage goes on sale, it's a lot better. It's best to sell it if the silage is on sale, but we're not going to do that for the sake of the video. But there's a good shot of all the gold coins if you want to know where they were. And as you can see, I missed a couple up on that hill. By, over there by the 29, you can see my worker up there working. Yeah. There it is. Now it's ready. See it turn brown. Now just simply take your bucket and go in there, pick it up, scoop it, back up it. Back it up. Now this Oh shit. <laughs> and that's what happens when you do too quick. <laughs> that was an epic fail. But anyhow, that was an epic fail. You pour them into this thing, you might want to drive a little slower. But now you have to reset that thing, which is going to be a bit, a bitch. I'm telling you, it's a bitch to reset them. Because you'd have to drive all the way back from up to the farm. And this tractor won't accept it. Yeah, I screwed that up, didn't I? Well, good. I don't know scream at me. Yeah, it ain't gonna... I wish they had a reset. 
Yeah, there's no way I can get it reset. I'd have to reset the get going. You can, you'll get about three hundred thousand dollars easy for a little bit like that out of five loads of grass. So you'll get around three thousand. Now, if it's on if it's on sale, if it was six thousand dollars a ton the silage, you'd get about eight hundred, six hundred dollars a ton. But unfortunately, that I wrecked the tractor. I didn't get to show you where to put. But you drop them right in it. You just go a little slower and drop it right here in this hopper. Now the best thing, you can, or you can get these tail, the tail handlers. The tail handlers, they're, they're pretty high though, see, and you can get this bucket here. They work a little better. And of course these are even better. These right here are way better. They're a lot more 6,400 pounds, you know, a lot better. But unfortunately, I don't know how to drive. So once you get up to that, you can purchase this and work with this with the silage. All right. Oh, sorry I messed it up. That's just how it goes. That's an epic fail on my part on part two. <laughs> but I thank you for watching. Now I can show you my working farm, what, what's going on. So let's just go ahead and I'll quit this game. Yeah, and I can quit without saving. We'll go to my farm that I've completed. I've already got so many tractors and like several windmills. I mean, I've got a platinum on the game. I mean, it's easy to do. The driving around is probably the hardest, but you can just buy a car, truck, just keep driving around the map. Or you can get a friend, a couple friends driving around each other, going around the whole map a few times. I think that'll count. You can do it that way too to get your thousand miles in the trophy. So that'd be one thing, but Johor Home is probably the best place to start. It's got the most woods. It's the better overall picture, if you want to know what I mean. So just saying, I just wanted to show you that that little tip there trick, yeah, that'd be about the best way to make the money right there through the silage. Selling silage is your best money maker. Once you get three or anything, you can buy some little better equipment. Which you'll see here as soon as it loads up. I got a little better equipment. I've only played and got to platinum. I kind of quit playing. But I started doing potatoes and stuff like that. So, as you can see, I got a whole load of canola here. So, uh, uh, canola. I don't know where it goes. So, I don't know. But as I was saying right here, see, I got this loader here. All these tractors and stuff. Uh, you know, you can uh, you can get a bigger bucket. Uh, I got the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I didn't. And I can sell some of that stuff too. See some of them green things I can get rid of. Hey, I got plenty of sheep. Look, I got 22 beehives now, but I got like seven of them. You can sell them. I don't really need them. So the old tractors, I got them. This is good for unloading commodities. Huh. So that may not be the, that's not the, even the machine. The wheel loader is what I wanted. So where is my wheel loader?
to heat plant potatoes. And I don't know what happened here. They all got kind of plugged up. Salage. But you, as you can see, I got a pretty good bunch of grains. I was planting potatoes and sugar beets, but silage is seeding way down right now. It's only something a ton, so it ain't, it ain't too impressive, you know? Not to me, it ain't. So, see? I guess there's some stuff down there. Well, there's a truck down there. Yeah, that's where I've done the salad down there. Yeah. I had a couple wheel loaders. Yeah. This will run you through your tractors. So that I don't want. So I can actually go up here and sell them. Because I don't really want them. I don't like them. Uh, I'll keep the bucket, but I'll sell that. And in the process, the wheel loader is one I'll buy. Uh, you can buy I'll buy that one because it's a little bigger. So. Uh, Let's see. It'll be there at the shop. Whoops. Just reset the tool and it'll put it right back up to the farm. Okay. And it's really good for selling the salvage down there, making salvage down below or whatever. As you can see, you can, you can get a bigger 6,400 pounds of scoop. It's very decent. So if you want to sell wood chips, make sure you buy the out type. Just kind of leave it halfway off, just a little bit off the ground. Just stick into it. You can take it like that. You can dump it right in the back of a truck. And it's the best way to buy a salad, too. So if you wanted to do that, you could get one of these red tractors. Always make sure the red tractor, or any tractor that you buy, has the little yellow converter right here. See that converter? All right. Yeah, so we can use this tractor right here. We'll use this one. So we'll buy a loading wagon. We'll buy the big one. And we'll buy a bush hog. Uh, buy any old one will work. The front one. Now, hit the uh, thing and go to tools. Reset that. And reset that. Yeah, so that's it. So what you want to do is go pick up your uh, pick up your little beautiful little mower first. Yeah, pick up that little mower. Now this tractor can handle this mower, and it can also pull this wagon all over the place. Now you can make some super salvage. Yeah. You can uh, make sure you turn your forwarding wagon, lower it. Make sure you tap the L3 and turn on the mower. Now see this tractor easily pulls, pulls, can handle weight. As you can see, this is what I've been doing all the time. So you let the tractor pick up the goods. Just like that. Keep your salvage now. 
The big truck too will hold a lot more silage. You can really get a lot of silage, tons of it, quickly. And that's really the whole point in the game is getting a lot of silage real quick. Just go around the grassy areas here and pick up all your silage. As you can see, there's a tree in that road. You can just stay in one place and keep mowing and mowing and mowing. Not letting it bother you. Yeah, you can just sit right here and mow this whole field off. And, you know, that's the best thing to do, too. While you're making quick money like that, you, know, you can turn on your lights. Not that the cars will see you, they'll still wreck into you. You can buy a couple of cheap tractors also to mow the grass for the missions like that with the front mower. And you can buy the rear mower and you can mow that field with the missions in a few seconds. You can do the, every mission, like right here's a field, here, and there's one over there by, uh, oh, I think it's over the western end. There's one here, one over there by that windmill, I think. Just keep on going. Take a big turn, head up the road. Now, going up the hill, these trackers can labor a little bit, but you can buy a bigger tracker. But like I say, you got to be careful what tractor you buy because some tractors, if they don't have that yellow container in the front, you could get in trouble. Like, see? So, yeah, see, there's a red one. So we could get a green one. So, see, none of them's going to work. But that, that we'll, we could try one of them green. How nice. So there it is. This tractor will probably pull a little better. It's a little more powerful. It's the second up. As you can see, it flies too. It's got good power. So, yeah. Hey, hello, welcome. Just showing a few tips on leveling up. You can watch a previous video and it will get you started. The game is pretty easy to platinum, I believe. Probably one of the easiest platinums in the world. All you gotta do is just play the game. It's showing you how to make silage quick way. Silage is the best money maker. Get this. Get this right here and pick it up. And this this green tractor is a little more oh. Yeah, this tractor will be able to handle this now. This holds a good bit of weight here. This this big bed holds a good bit of weight. So yeah, and cars have no mercy on you on this game. So keep in mind that them cars will ram you. So you just want to gather this silage everywhere. And when we get it filled up, we're going to go down to the south to the bogus plant there by 41. So just make sure you have this kind of a setup with a good tractor. See, you can pull pretty good with this tractor. Of course, you got to get the one, like I say, you got to buy the tractor like that, the Duke's Fog, because it's the one with the yellow container. It'll run a PTO power takeoff in the front to run the front cutter. You need that, and you need you need some kind of a loading wagon. Use this this Terra Vestas. It holds 88,000 or 50,000 50, capacity. So I have two of them, but just use that. And of course, when you get the money, you know, you can buy the super good loader like I got. So once you get that filled up, just keep going in a circle here until you get loaded up. Probably three, I'd say three good loads will be good enough. 
three good loads will make you a lot of silage. All you have to do is get a lot of silage. With this tractor right here, it'll pick it up. So you can, you can even go in here where you cut before. It'll even pick up the old grass. So. It, it don't pull up the hill very good. I mean, that, that wagon is pretty hard to pull. When it starts filling up, it, it's hard to pull. I'll just let you know right now, it's hard to pull when that wagon gets full. So it's best just to kind of work on the downhill side of everything. I'll get somewhere flat, like see over there, it's kind of a flat place, where you can get some mow, pick up a lot of grass quickly, you just go back and forth, back and forth, pick up all your grass. This is kind of, it's got a little bit of a grade to it, but not too bad. It'll probably still dog you down a little bit, especially when you start loading up. And you can see I got about half a load right now, about 2,300 tons, so or 2300 pounds. As long as you don't go no extreme hills, you'll be you'll be fine. You can overlap just a little bit. Mowing. This is where you buy your trees. From the nursery, you're planting your 50 trees. You can plant trees and then cut them after they grow up pretty good. Anywhere where there's grass, you can get it for the silage. You probably want to grab three loads anyhow. I don't even know where I planted my fish trees. If you want to through. And if you leave it on fast grow, fast like that one point times fast, that'll let your grass grow so you can keep picking it up, see. It may only take two loads and you can ferment it. And you can uh, scoop it up. So, just keep on farming. I noticed there's no pigs in the game. <laughs> Some of the kid with all the pigs over here. Who's the join? And you can tell where you cut. There won't be a yellow. And of course, rain don't affect you. This is a good place to pick up the grass. This is right where we gotta pick our this is right where we gotta take our grass in there and then bio plant. I probably got already got a thing in there. I hope I do. I may not, but I can always drive one down here to pick it up. But you know you're only gonna get dollar one sixteen hundred dollars a ton so it ain't worth selling it right now I wouldn't sell it until the prices go through the roof if you have two friends helping you do this you can fill all them two all them bins up with grass doing that and, and that would be the thing to do to get your friend online you got the money to buy a couple of these and just take turns just help each other mow grass and get the solid you can make a ton of money when when it goes through the roof So I wish they had a little better cracker that we could use to pick up the silage. You could just have someone mow too and someone just pick it up, but that, that's kind of time consuming. 
I better do it like this because it picks up what you mow. You know, you don't have to. You can be on your own that way. You can see it's getting harder and harder, but it goes good downhill. I tell you, that weight, when that tractor starts weighing down, <laughs> you may want the medium bed. You know, you may want the medium, uh, the, not this one, but the next one. The next one, uh, this is one of the biggest ones. So just get the third one, you know what I mean? We'll see, we'll see. It'd probably work a lot better for you. It'd be quicker if you need to pull it. Probably only take three loads too, regardless. So that's the point. Because this is a little hard to pull. As far as I'm concerned, it's a little bit harder to pull. And of course, you know where you've been, even with the grass on full, just look for the yellow. Sorry about all the notification. I could have, I should have deactivated all that, but unfortunately, I didn't. So once you get that all full, you just keep mowing. Like I say, go ahead and buy you a, uh, if you got the money, buy the loading, buy this green one, the Bergman. Because that one's a little bit too heavy. If you get that one. I think that one would be a little better. Now you pull pretty easy on level ground. But man, if you hit a little grade, you don't hardly move. I think we'll be alright right now. Like I say, I ain't buying no, selling no solids right now anyhow, because I can see. I'll wait until it goes way up. So I must have flooded the market in solid on this game. I think I did when me and my brother were playing, helping me get the platinum. Hill dog down. Oh yeah. <laughs> All that weight. I didn't see any tracker in there. I don't think I've ever made it in this game, but I, I played, I've got several counts. So. Yeah. yeah, there ain't nothing in there. Yeah, it's alright. It won't be long when we pull anyhow, I'm pulling 90 now. What I'll do is I'll buy a cheap tracker and bring that other one down. To me, and I'll sell this one when I get it. <laughs> so maybe I might go back around. Oh. Probably quicker to do the, uh, you'd move faster. Yeah, it's time I get up there. Pulling up pretty quick. But with a smaller track, smaller wagon, you can go a lot faster and move all over the place better. So once it hits 100, it shuts off. There it is, it hit a hunter. So, Alright, oh, what's up? Turn off, yeah. 
Always take it in this first compartment down here. Compartment on the left. You can make that solid right here. Go in when it just says unload, start unloading it. Right there. So while that's unloading, uh, just go get you another tractor, like this tractor right here. Let's see where I am. I. Put the grain over there. That's good. We can go down there and get the other wagon, take it down there. and keep your uh, tools worked too, they'll, they'll cut a lot better. The workers will work more efficiently. But the tools start getting uh, dirty, they won't work as uh, efficiently. So we'll go down there. See, there's a loader I'll take down and load up the solid. Whenever I sell it, I'm not going to sell it now, for, for heaven's sake, it's just way too... It, it wouldn't be wise to sell it at a thousand when you can get two thousand for it, you know? I can make that job. Welcome to the spring. Part two would be a better place. But part one would be a better one to start. Start. It gives you some good tips on where to start and how to start and what to do. But you can see I got a few tools down here. But this is the one you ought to buy for the, uh, you know, the green tractor. That's tractor part one four. That probably pulled pretty good when I get down there. Is just straight up over the top where I'm going. Head to the bow that's going down there. This is my field anyhow. I combined with them. I combined this field here. <laughs> Don't know what to plant in it right now. Could plant corn. Corn's a good thing to make a solid dollar too. I combined 27 and 22. I probably could have used combined right here, this one here, 33. That's in a heck of a field of corn and that field. Man, that's in a big field. You need to start over here and go for the best. So we get down there. Use this wagon. We want to use it, get, make a lot of money. And see, I don't even have that much to no more on this account. I used to have a lot, but I got rid of a lot of it. Because when you want to get the 10 million, you don't already need that much. Unless you want to make a trip, see how much money you can make. You can leave your PlayStation on all night like that, and I, I probably have 10 million dollars in the morning. Like I said, when you get this down here, this this will work a lot faster. Well, I thought I sold it. Pack it down a little bit. Once it gets a hundred, if it says R1, it'll let you. Uh, you can press R1, it'll it'll start the process fermenting to make silage. 
but you won't know that until it hits 100%. Need an airload. So this will pull a little better, I figure. Oh yeah, I can tell right now. It's a lot easier. Yeah, it pulls a lot better, I think. The middle, so it's a middle coin collector. This is this. But that's all I'm pretty much going to have to show you in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like and subscribe. More to come on different periods videos. If you'd like to see some, please contact me. I play a lot of games. I don't play too many Call of Duty games or anything, but I do play stealth games and action type games. But nothing wrong with them. I just don't care for a Call of Duty franchise. Kind of like the Battlefield franchise, but it kind of got bad, really, if you want to occur. But other than that, it's okay. I do like Hitman. Thanks for watching everybody. Appreciate it. Peace out.